Hello friends. Let's learn about embryology. Embryology is a branch of botany that deals with Embryology is a branch of botany that deals with the formation and development of embryo. In main sense, it is mainly preferred for formation and development of embryo. The science includes microsporogenesis, macrosporogenesis, microgametogenesis, macrogametogenesis, double fertilization, triple fusion, development of embryo, endosperm, etc. These are all involved in this study. And uh, let's see how many scientists are involved in, in this. Uh, there are so many scientists, uh, they have given con enormous, ca enormous uh, contribution towards the embryology. Let's look up at the first scientist. His name is Leven Hooker. Second one is Grew. Third one is Camerarius. Fourth one is Anisi. Fifth one is Hoffmeister. Sixth one is Strasburger. Seventh one is Nawaschin. These are renewed embryologist to our knowledge of embryology in a letter in 20th century P. Maheshwari is recognized as one of the important embryologists during the period of 20th century like that and uh, today Today, the embryology science is also known as reproductive biology is a growing up enormously means it is giving more importance for uh, tissue culture tissue culture experiments nowadays it is used in this the process of microsporogenesis of pollen mother cell of the anther result in the formation of microspore tetrad in like that it result in the formation of microspore tetrad and the microsporma formed after the microspore tetrad are known as pollen grains like that where if you observe the pollen grains are very small and it is very small in appearance like that the starting point for the development of male gametophyte the starting point for the development of male gametophyte is microspore the starting point for the development of male gametophyte continues it uh, continues in the angiosperm completely it is involved in the angiosperm condition and uh, this is a special type of uh, condition the starting point for the development of male gametophyte result and the condition remain constant in angiosperm that is the main idea in this so later it can be derived further it is recognized from the anther from the anther that is formed after the anther it is formed after the anther which is a two nucleate or three nucleate which is a recognized like that the male gametophyte is formed after the division of microspore nucleus 
this is the main thing the male gametophyte is formed after the division of microspore nucleus in the main sense so this video is helpful thank you